Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and we are talking about uh, the Windows 10 October 2020 update. Of course, once again, a lot of people complaining every day that uh, they still don't see it, but that could be changing soon as the um, Microsoft says that it's pushing it a little faster. So that means that some of you that didn't see it might actually see it. <coughs> I want to remind everybody that um, one of the reasons you don't see it is that Microsoft is slowly pushing it. That means you might be compatible and you might be quite all right to get it, but the version is still not showing up because they're going slowly to make sure everything is all right. One of the things that uh, is pretty apparent because a lot of people are asking me that question is, um, well, if I'm on 2004, if I force update to, you know, 20H2, the October 2020 update, do you think I'm going to be okay? And even though I never really um, tell anybody to push that version, you know, to uh, a next level, one of the thing that the things that is obvious here is that they are the same version pretty much. So what we see as problems is the same problem on both version. What I mean is the update blockers are the same. And if some problem is on the October 2020 update, it's usually also on the May 2020 update. So what that means is if it works fine on version 2004 for you, force updating to the uh, next version, October 2020, with the media creation tool, for example, or the you know, with or forcing it with the update there, would probably work fine because it's the same version and it's really just a cumulative update. It doesn't take very long to install and and it actually works. Um, question also from a lot of people: What version exactly are we when we're on the October 2020 update? Well, remember that the versions follow each other. So when you do WinVert for the Windows version. 19042.610 is the version number for the May 2020 update and the October 2020 update with a very small difference. May 2020 update is 19041. October 2020 update is 19042. So that shows you that this is just a very small update. A little bit like a service pack we had in the past and adds a few little features including the um, kind of nicer start and, and, and overall feel of Windows uh, menus with uh, the fact that they actually follow now the accent color. No big choppy blue. It just you know blends in with the background. Even though it is still squares, uh, blends with the background. Uh, so that's for sure. The other question, of course, I get a lot is um, if there's going to be another update this year. Uh, no, there's two updates a year was pretty much what Microsoft had. Yes, they did dabble with more than two, but that would be crazy and suicidal, I think. There is two updates a year. Right now, we're still, and Microsoft still is saying two updates a year, even for next year, even though we hear and keep hearing that there's only going to be one. The uh, So this update that brings the October 2020 update was the second update this year. That's why it's called 20H2. There's no other updates for the rest of the year. So, you know, no worries. It's uh, it's quite all right. You will be okay. And you uh, will, of course, benefit from 18 months of a lifetime for a consumer. So if you're on the October 2020 update, don't want to update at all next year. You're going to be okay. Next year, you won't even have to update to any new version. Uh, remember that these versions are all optional now. I've seen a few people saying that this was forced on them. If it's forced on you, it's because you were either at a very old version and it was forced on you, or you did something, uh, including check Windows updates and click the download and install button, because uh, this is not forced. It's really a optional update. Uh, and most people that I've seen that uh, have that screen, it does give it as an optional update that as long as you don't click download and install, nothing happens. Of course, uh, those that are on 1809, 1903 are being forced upgraded to newer versions of Windows. There's some possibility that some of you in there might actually be forced upgraded to 19 on uh, 20H2, sorry. But um, from what I see, 
Most are actually first upgraded to 1909 rather than 20H2 for the time being. It could be because of the update blockers, I don't know. So that's pretty much the last, uh, the latest news we have. And the rollout is going a little faster. So some of you might actually go into your settings, go into the update in security and check for updates and see a optional update, which will be the 20H2 October 2020 update uh, that's going to be available. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.